Hey everybody, welcome to Coronavirus Tours with Jeff. Today we're going to talk about the legendary mid-19th century character Harry Manbella. It's not as confusing a name as it might sound. She was a woman who was searching for this mysterious Harry Man character that we'll talk more about. And she actually dressed in furs and was known to be a beautiful giant. So maybe from a distance with these furs on, she would have looked like a Harry Man. Plus, she told people that was her name. Anyway, I wanted to take you to the most famous site associated with Harry Manbella. I went out there this morning and I found out that it wasn't very welcoming. Lots of signs about trespassing, lots of signs saying they have guns. One sign in particular saying um, that the best way to get to heaven is to pray. The fastest way is to step on my property. That was about 20 yards down the road from where I was going to be filming in a very public location, but there would have probably been private locations in the background, and that's when those people would have probably come out with their guns, and it would have gotten scary. So we're operating out of the home office today, and I'm going to tell you this story about Harry Manbella. She first appears in our consciousness in 1845. Several newspapers out by where I was this morning uh, start talking about this woman. She's beautiful, she's Amazonian-like. Um, she's, she's this towering giant, Hagrid would have loved her. And she calls herself Harry Man Bella. Her real name is Bella Jones. We don't know any origin story of her before she turns up in 1845 though. What she's wanting to do in each of these small towns is to tell the story of the Harry Man. She's not claiming to have seen it, but as these descriptions unfold in the newspapers, it's very clear that she's talking about what we would now know as Bigfoot or Sasquatch. She's just not using those terms because it didn't exist. Doesn't mean she had to invent this though, because these stories of these giant human-like characters with lots of hair have been around in Africa, Asia, Europe, here with the native cultures in the Americas for hundreds if not thousands of years. So somehow uh, she either saw one, well no she wasn't claiming to have seen one, so somehow she, she got a hold of that story and started to tell it. She becomes very popular, charges a little bit of money, tells her story, moves on to another community, eventually does that in seven states and two Canadian provinces. Even recruits help along the way. There was one period of time that there was a guy named Buck who toured with her for two and a half years. But from her start in 1845 until 1868, she doesn't claim to have seen anything then it changes. Here in the same area where those first newspaper accounts happen, she does claim now that she's seen something. Not only that, she doesn't have a picture of the hairy man, but she has the hairy man's footprint. About 23 inches from top to bottom, human-like foot with no claws. Um, some historians come out, they're able to um, preserve it, remove it. It's taken after it's studied to a local post office. When that post office is torn down, it's moved to another, and it becomes very popular. People are coming from everywhere to see this, but that post office burns down in the 1920s. And I'm not going to tell you the town because they're not very welcoming. I don't want you going around there. There's really nothing uh, left over about Harry Manbella there anyway. And you can't go to the neighborhood because they got guns. Anyway, um, she continues to tour from 1868 until 1875. She is way more popular now because she's seen something and she has those pictures of the footprint. That's actually when she goes up into Canada, finishes her, her never-ending tour when she passes away in Ontario, actually not far from where um, my family, family uh, once resided, which is interesting to me, but not to you. We don't really have any more traces of, of Harry Manbella other than these newspaper articles because we don't have the footprint. We don't have any photographs of her. Um, but if you want to go out into the countryside and one of these seven states and have a look for the hairy man or the site where Bella saw it, by all means be my guest. I'm just not going to tell you where it is.